This is a tutorial going over predicting double displacement reactions, writing a balanced molecular equation, a complete ionic equation, and a net ionic equation. The very first thing we need to do is write the correct formulas for our reactants. Reading the equation, it says that we have gaseous hydrogen sulfide that's bubbled through a solution of nickel 2 nitrate. First of all, hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen is a plus one. Sulfide is sulfur, which is a negative two. If we swap draw produce, we're going to need two hydrogens and one sulfur. So our formula is H2S. Now, since it's gaseous, we're going to put a G in the parentheses to indicate the state. Our other reactant is nickel 2 nitrate. Now, nickel is a transition metal. Normally, you cannot look at the periodic table and tell what the charge is, but because it's nickel 2, we know that it's a plus 2. Now, the nitrate, I'm going to write this over here, is NO3. That's a polyatomic ion, and we know that because we recognize the ATE ending. It's a negative 1. If we swap draw produce, that means we're going to need one nickel and two nitrates. So when we write this, we're going to need parentheses around that nitrate because there's more than one of them. And since it is a solution, we're going to write AQ. Now, the next part, you have to figure out who's going to hook up with who. Remember, opposite charges. It might help to write the charges above these things. Remember, this was a plus 1, minus 2, plus 2, minus 1. So our hydrogen is going to hook up with nitrate, and nickel is going to hook up with sulfur. Now, you still have to write correct formulas. So, if hydrogen's plus 1 and nitrate's a minus 1, one of each will balance them out. So, HNO3 will be the formula for your first product. Your second product is nickel plus sulfur. Okay, we put the nickel first because it's positive. You have a plus 2 and a minus 2, which means they balance each other, so your formula is NIS. Now, we need to check solubility rules to tell whether or not these are AQ or S. All right? According to your solubility rules, all nitrate compounds are soluble, so this is AQ. Now, something else, you might recognize that this is nitric acid. Remember, all acids will start with H in their formula. All of the acids you're going to see are going to be AQ. All right, what about nickel 2 sulfide? If you check your rules, it says that sulfides are insoluble with a few exceptions, but nickel is not one of the exceptions, so this is an insoluble solid. Now, we're not quite finished with this first step. It's supposed to be a balanced molecular equation, so we need to go back and balance it, which is quick work because if you put a 2 here, that will balance the two hydrogens and the two nitrates, and you have one nickel and one sulfur on the other side. So this is your balanced molecular equation. All right, the next thing we're going to do is called the complete ionic equation. All right, complete ionic means everything that is aqueous, that is dissolved in water, is written as their separate ions because in reality, that's what they are. So let's take this one species at a time. Our first reactant is a gas. Because it's a gas, we leave it alone. Our next reactant is aqueous, so we do need to break it apart. There is one nickel ion, so it's not going to need a coefficient, but we have to be sure to write the charge on the ion. Now there are two nitrate ions, so we're going to need a coefficient here. And again, make sure you put the charge on the ion. Arrow. All right, we've hit our first product, which is AQ, so it's going to be written as separate ions. There are two hydrogen ions. Make sure you put that charge. And there are also two nitrate ions. 
Make sure you put the charge. And then our second product is solid. Since it is not AQ, we do not break it apart. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now the last thing is the net ionic equation. Your net ionic equation only includes the parts that actually participate in the reaction. It takes out all the spectators. Spectators just watch. How do you know it's just watching? Well, it appears the same way on both sides. And in this particular reaction, there's only one spectator, the nitrate. So all of the other ions get to action and compounds get to stay. So your net for this reaction is your hydrogen sulfide gas plus nickel ion, which gives you two hydrogen ions and your nickel two sulfide.